Hey everyone, Noble Artist here, and today in this video is going to be probably, I wouldn't say a long awaited video, but it has been quite some time since I actually made a custom video. A lot of the stuff has been updates or just, you know, other random things I've made, and I haven't actually had a finished custom in probably a year, maybe ish. I know it's been a while, so. Here we go, I know I've talked about this in previous videos, but this is the first figure in the Elite Fire Squad that I was working on. And unfortunately, I don't have a before figure to show you so you can kind of see what I did to it. I do have one of these figures in the pack so you can kind of get an idea of what actually has been done to this figure. So quite a bit has happened with this guy. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get to this review and I'm gonna apologize in advance for the lighting. My lighting situation is kind of uh, not the best. I kind of MacGyvered a few lamps around me and did what I could because normally I'm near a window and I don't have one. So, well I do, but I don't have a way to be near it. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get right into it. So, first off, I will grab my handy dandy tweezer bees. And I am going to make a video soon about the materials I use and I'll probably do another how to paint video. So, if anyone wants to see anything particular with that, leave a comment down below and I will do my best with painting, whatever you want me to do. And I will probably get a material list and some kind of link somewhere in the description so you can figure out like where to go to actually buy the materials that I use. But anyway, also, before I get started, a shout out to Jenny. You need to watch more Star Wars. That's all I gotta say, but don't worry, don't worry. I won't hold that against you. But all right, so moving on, we will go ahead and start with, I'm actually gonna scoot him up a bit. This figure has a feature that I haven't put on a lot of figures, but, Pretty cool. So I added some boots to the figure and simply I just put some metal strips down here on the legs, kind of give it that tread looking type of look. And then the top I actually had, that's toothpick that I cut in half and put there. And yeah, so painted all around. The legs are for the boots. I definitely use the testers paint just because it's more of a model-ish paint and it lasts a lot longer. It's, I went with that for the legs just so kind of preserve the figure because it stands a lot and I didn't want it to get messed up. So anyway, then we got the knee pads and for the most part this figure only has four colors. It's red, black, and gray. Actually three colors, so I don't know why I said four. Well gold, sorry, four colors, yep. Um, so anyway, we have some gold accents here on the knee pads. Again, I'm not sure how we can see this in the light. And then I have the fabric pieces. This is actually layered up. There's two pieces of fabric right there. And then for the comma, this is painted with the testers red, kind of give it a nice maroon look. It might look a little bit different in this lighting, but pretty cool, kind of a darker maroon. And for the ammo packs, we have this nice custom gray color actually mixed together. I didn't have, I don't even know if I used white. I think I actually mixed together this weird like tan color in black, but mix that together to get a nice dark gray for the pouch or the packs. And then I topped that off with some black right there on the top. And I wish I had one of these. I might try to find a, an image to show you guys up here on the side because he had these two like armor pieces here on the other side. So I went ahead and made those out of metal. Underneath that is fabric. And I just wanted kind of that, I don't know, try to have it pop a little bit, kind of give it some texture and depth. So went ahead and did that. And then moving on to the side. Now, most of the armor here is just the traditional clone armor. We have the gauntlet, the shoulder pad, and then the bicep pad, and I actually added two more little packs there on the side, just, you know, extra detail. And then this cool little feature here, this is one of the custom, just random things that I put on my figures. And for the fire squad, they are all gonna have this incorporated somewhere on the figure, these type of shorter pads. So I'm gonna mix that up. So each one's gonna have kind of a, a different, I wouldn't say theme, but it's gonna be incorporated in a different way. So that is that. And over here we have the pauldron right here. and. I decided to put the gold on the top of that just because I needed more gold. I had to kind of spread it out a little bit. That's also why I put those accent screws on the bicep pad right here and then on the knee pads and then I also have it on the these two vents are I guess the regulator on the helmet. Put a little dot right there in the middle. So yeah, I decided to put that one on the shorter pad. That is a piece of metal right there. It's kind of shining pretty bright in that light. And then, of course, we have these two pieces on the side. One there, one there, and I just realized he doesn't have his weapons, but that's okay, they're behind him. I will show you those last. So, moving on to the sides. Again, this side is not as, as flashy as this one, but, you know, mixing it up a wee bit. Moving on to the back of the figure. 
Now this, I didn't really do much with this side. I might add something later on. I just couldn't figure out what would fit there and I didn't really want to clutter them up too much. So I just have this piece here. This is actually a piece of foam. I think it was yellow before I painted it. And again, I might try to touch this up a little bit, but we'll see, I kind of like it sort of minimalistic right there. This is actually one of the links to a watch. I have a really old watch and then that's one of the links to it. And I just painted up gray and black and I think it looks pretty good. Alrighty, moving on to the helmet. Whoa, back it up a bit. So the helmet kind of gave me some trouble and I was trying my hardest to figure out what to add to it. And I actually had some pieces on there that I ripped off because I didn't like them. But I'm gonna go ahead and take this off the figure if I can. Uh, I also have the neck piece of the neck guard right here. It wraps all the way around the figure because the clones have those, it's like their undersuit, if you if you would. So we're gonna go ahead and scoot him out of the way and show you the helmet. Now, the helmet has these two visor, I don't know why I said visor. I have no idea why I just said visor. It has these two filters on either side of the helmet. And then I painted this bottom half black. This is also in the testers just because it has a more of a matte finish and I really like that look. And then I accented it with that gray because I had a ton of it down there and I wanted to incorporate some of the gray. And then these two notches on the top, I painted gold because I just want to add some more gold. And then this piece, I don't know why I decided to do that. I've seen some of the helmets are more of the hats have that type of look. And I thought it looked really cool. And I was trying to think of a design to put on the top of the helmet and I just went with that. There's a chance I might add something to it, but for now I think it fits, you know, fits the character pretty well. And of course I have the Jenga Fett style pistols, but these I accented with gold on either side, or just on the top, because why not? He's got gold. Might as well pedazzle his, uh, his weapon. So these slide in there perfectly because they, uh, because they have to. I did make a tutorial on how to make these. It's floating around somewhere. So for those who want to know, I'm pretty sure I made a how-to, but really awesome pistols fit there perfectly on the side. This is the, I guess the commander of this unit. So he, our little squad. So he's just going to have the pistols. And then later on, I'll do a flamethrower, a sniper, a heavy gunner. And I think that's going to be it. It's going to be kind of small. Hold the gun. This is kind of hard to do because I'm looking through the camera. Let me, uh, BRB. And we're back. All right, so these are the two pistols that I made. Just painted those black, and then of course I said like the gold on the top. Very simple, very awesome, sleek, Jenga Fett blasters. And yeah, so all in all, this is the figure. I hope you enjoyed it. I am going to hopefully get these other ones made pretty soon. I think there's gonna be like three more, three or four, I don't know, we'll see how it goes, in this kind of squad of this little series. But next, I really want to do a Mandalorian for the contest that I'm doing. And I need to finish the, or I say need to finish. I need to start the Roman for the Roman contest because I wanted to make a new one. So anyway, um, yeah, that's that. Uh, hopefully you all can see this decently. I know the lighting is kind of wonky, but yeah, that's it. So if you liked it, hitchhike it. Don't forget to fist pound that subscribe button in the middle. And apparently people's notifications are kind of messing up. So if you could hit the notification bell so you can see my upcoming videos. And as always, God bless, take care, and I will see y'all next time.